About this stage of the academic year, level three mechanical principles students have now considered various energy techniques related to potential energy, kinetic energy and work done, and also momentum methods, where the conservation of linear momentum was used to analyze collisions between various objects. So here's some in Christmas enrichment related to application of both energy and momentum principles. What's considered essentially a bit of festive fun between the tinsel and the turkey. So this is scenario one, when Santa slid down the chimney. So Santa Claus is on the midnight shift and he lands on the roof of a 25 meters tall house. He slides down the chimney and lands on the fireplace, all covered in soot. He is now what is technically termed as a sooty Santa. His sooty Santa and his sack load of presents have a mass of 0.22 ton. And during the descent, Santa was subjected to a constant frictional force due to continually rubbing against the chimney walls of 0.5 kilonewtons, we're asked to calculate the following using an energy balance as we reviewed in our previous lectures. Part one, we've got to find Santa's velocity on impact with the coal fire at the bottom of the chimney. And two, we've got to calculate the average force on impact is Santa's derriere, that's his bottom, compresses by 18 millimeters. I would encourage you to start the presentation and attempt scenario one, drawing on the work we covered in the previous lectures and presentations related to energy methods and using energy balance. Here's a few hints should you need them to help you with the solutions for part one. We see the Santa's movements from the top of the chimney, say position one, to the bottom of the chimney, position two, and consider the energy transfers as he falls from position one to two. For part two, when Santa's now landed at the bottom of the chimney, consider the energy transfers between his initial landing and the final compressed state of his bottom. If you need a recap on the principle of conservation of energy and an energy balance, I'd encourage you to visit the previous presentations related to energy and the energy balance. And if you want further festive fun, you could check your answers to scenario one using Newton's laws and equations of motion. Here's scenario two. This is breaking news here. Santa crash lands in Lapland. So I'm returning home to snowy Lapland. Santa attempts to park his sleigh in the sleigh park. However, having drunk too much eggnog during the hectic delivery night, Santa is now rather inebriated. Thus on landing, he crashes into a large skip full of scrap toys at a speed of 1,240 kilometers an hour after which both Santa's sleigh and the skip move off with a common velocity. If Santa's sleigh has a mass of two ton, Santa, after eating too many mince pies, has a mass of 250 kilograms and the skip has a mass of 52 megagrams. We've got to calculate the common velocity after impact. So in scenario two, we need to apply the conservation of linear momentum. And again, we review momentum methods and its application to collisions in previous presentations. You can state any further assumptions made in your calculations. Again, I would encourage you to stop the presentation and attempt scenario two. And here are the answers to scenario one. Part 1, Part 2, and Scenario 2. Hope it's been fun for you. 
and a Merry Christmas.